If you do not have a vision for your future, then you will keep recreating the past. Learn your own visualization language. Vision boards might actually not work well for a lot of people. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Alotebi and on this channel we cover everything manifestation, meditation and yoga to help you be the best version of yourself. Hello beautiful souls, welcome back any subscribers and welcome to all you newbies out there. Today we are going to be covering everything to do with visualization to bring in your manifestation. Don't forget to show that like button some love. A lot of people talk about vision boards and this is how they can create them but the biggest problem I see is that be honest, have you wanted to create a vision board but still haven't got around to doing it yet? What? Right? The reason that this actually happens is because a lot of people don't retain information the same way. So for some people, vision boards work really, really well. But as we said, not everybody retains and absorbs information the same way. So vision boards might actually not work well. For a lot of people. Who would have thought? I know personally for me, I use online Pinterest as my vision board because I prefer to have it with me at all times whenever I want to look at it. I don't want something because my life is very transient. I have to move around in different locations. So I don't want to have a board that I have to carry around with me, but I use my phone for it. Also, sometimes vision boards on phones don't work well for people. They want to be able to visualize it in a video and they also want to internalize that. Figuring out what works best for you is the key to bring in those manifestations faster and learn your own visualization language. A lot of people don't realize this, but we all have our own language when it comes to our mind and how our brain takes in this information and creates it in our reality. Just as some people are auditory learners, they need to do things to learn or they're visual learners, you are your own manifestation type. So some people work really well, as we said, with vision boards, but others, their idea of externalizing this physical environment isn't the same. Vision boards work really well with people who want to manifest in the 3D, the physical 3D objects. You are linking that idea of the success, that idea of the abundance that you want to a physical object which is fine and great. And that's why we're in this physical 3D experience. So the reason that these vision boards help is because it reflects that back to you and you can take in the information and feel as if you already have it. That's the key, right? But some people, they don't feel that sense of connection to the physical 3D object. They can close their eyes and have an idea in their mind of the reality that they want to create and manifest. Maybe it's an experience with somebody that they love. Maybe it's being in a certain country, a different country or an area that they want to be in, the life that they want to lead, how they want to wake up in the morning. This visualization power is actually extremely powerful if you can visualize it in your mind. Vision what? Close your eyes and take that power and feel as if you're experiencing it as you're visioning it in your mind. And for them, maybe it's not the objects on the outside, but it's the experiences that they create in life. So there are many powerful ways to manifest, but the key that I'm gonna share with you that makes all of them successful, no matter what technique you choose is best for you, is internalizing and expanding that emotion. Because everything that we create, everything that you bring into your life is because you match the energy you match the energy of what it is that you bring in. So the key in any of these visioning practices is that you have to become that frequency. You have to feel as if you have it already or you are that person already or you're experiencing this now, in the now. Because as we said, if you do not have a vision for the future that you're trying to manifest, you will keep recreating the past because everything around you is a reflection of your past. Think about it, all of your past decisions are what has created your reality around you, even the objects that you've purchased in the past. So if you wanna have a new environment around you and also inside of you, you have to make new decisions. And those new decisions are only going to come when you become that new vibration, that new person by changing your habits, 
You have to change. And that's what a lot of people don't want to hear. But the easiest and quickest way that you can do it is through visioning and through taking on and becoming that new version of you, seeing it in your mind, acting as if, and taking on that powerful new energy that is you. If you can see it in your mind, it means that you can create it in your reality. So I hope this is helpful and you guys have got some good insight into how you can use different visioning techniques to be able to create the life that you desire and you truly deserve. We are all here to learn, grow and develop and become an experience that beautiful and largest version of yourself. Make sure to hit that like button, share with anyone you think you can help, and don't forget to subscribe because I'm dedicated to making videos on this channel to hold us all accountable to being the best versions of ourselves, guys. But for now, take care, all the best, and good night.